What does being fearless mean to you? I had to conquer a lot of mental health problems. So it's to be able to get up in the morning and face society and walk out of that front door. You know, it doesn't have to be a massive thing. It can be the smallest things to, to get through each day. Can you tell us a bit more about how your depression started? It started actually really young. At the time, obviously, I didn't realise what was going on. I thought it was normal, this, this happens to you. But now I can link it back to when my granddad was diagnosed with cancer. And that's where the anxiety started to creep in, and then the depression. I spent my time in and out of um, mental institutions, um, back and forth to A&E from overdoses, self-harming. And it finally got to a point where I just thought, what am I doing? This isn't right. And thankfully, at the same time, somebody from Mind walked in to my room and said, right, this is where we get things sorted. Are there any fears that you still need to tackle? Yes. After all of that, I still hate heights and clowns. <laughs> and it seems so silly. If we offered you the chance today to have a flying lesson in the glider, what would you say? Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you up for it? I'll say yes now before I can back out. <laughs> that's the oh my god, that's tiny. There's not a lot of things. I'm petrified right now. Oh my god! We're in the air, obviously. Oh, I get it back! <laughs> Oh, I feel like I've not done it for me, I've done it for my son. I've done it for Isaac.